I remember writing my book and my original uh, agent saying to me, you need to make your book, it needs to be six weeks to a better you or two, you know, this whole cookie cutter thing. And I said, I feel like I'm Lauren Hutton and you're telling me to take the space out of my teeth. And I wasn't famous then and I wasn't big enough to make these choices where I could say no, but I did say no. I said, I don't care. I know what it's gonna be. I'll fight harder. I'm telling the truth about what I am and what I'm not and that's what's happening. When I started out and people around me were like, you need to be the chef and you need to be the wholesome one. I remember meeting with Food Network and then being like, you need to be more huggable, like a Paula Deen, and you need to be more the, okay? And so there's a moment when everyone's trying to tell you what you should be because you're a chef. And I always would say, I'm not wearing the white jacket. I'm being my own new thing. I think there gets to be a point where you kind of take a leap and it works and you're like, um, this is what I'm doing. And then it became, I'm doing this my way. How, who, who says that anyone else is smarter than I am and who's gonna tell me what to do? And I really have always felt, go big or go home. You kind of got to get to that fear point and jump, and I did. I did risk everything for my dream, more so because of my age. Had I been 25, big deal. You're running around, you could be bartending, you could be doing whatever you want to make your dream happen, but being 33 and not knowing what the hell you're doing and if it's all gonna work out and not even really knowing what your dream is because not knowing that this is possible, just knowing that you're going in the right direction and something great is going to happen, that was very, very hard. I had to risk a lot, and now it does really pay off. It really, really does. It's been, it's been pretty incredible.